Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today you will learn how to add 3D models in your presentation and use the morph transition to animate these unique 3D stock models from Microsoft PowerPoint. The 3D model feature is currently available in Microsoft 2019 up to the latest versions. This feature will help you to spice up your presentation and bring your design to the next level. So I have here a slide with a forest background for demonstration purposes. Inserting 3D models into our slides is as easy as inserting images or videos. Under the Insert tab, just select the 3D models. Then you have two options here, the From Device option if you wish to import 3D models directly from your system files. And the Stock 3D Models option so you can browse and insert 3D models from Microsoft's online library. For the sake of this tutorial, we will use the Stock 3D Models option. In the dialog box that appears, you can browse or search for 3D models from the catalog. We can see here different 3D models which are classified into different categories. The animated 3D models have this animation symbol below them. And the simple and still 3D models without the animation symbol which you can also animate later using the morph transition. Now let's try to select this dinosaur 3D model. When you insert a 3D model into your office file, you will get a contextual tab on the ribbon under 3D model tools called Format. On the Format tab, there are some handy controls to help you customize how your 3D images are going to look. The 3D Model Views Gallery gives you a collection of preset views that you can use on your images. And since this particular 3D model has the animation symbol, we can choose different scenes where our character will move according to the animation step but you can also stay with no animation as well. We can also drag the image handles in or out to make our image larger or smaller. We can also use the 3D control to rotate or tilt your 3D model in any direction. Just click the hold and drag with your mouse. After that, you can add your title and text to your slide. Now for the fun part, we can duplicate this slide or copy the 3D model to the next slide. But before doing that, make sure to rename your 3D model under the selection pane. Starting with the double exclamation point and then followed by the name of your choice. With this, morph transition will happen smoothly and the system won't be confused in identifying the element to be morphed. Then you can also add entrance animation to your 3D model. I will also apply entrance animation to my text. Then we can customize the duration and settings under the animation pane. Now in the next slide, I will just copy the 3D model in the first slide and paste it into the next one. Now we can rearrange our 3D model or rotate it at a different angle using the 3D control. We are doing this so it will smoothly transform or rotate to that angle when we apply morph transition to both slides. Before applying the morph transition, make sure to remove the entrance animation in our 3D model. Then just add your text or whatever design you want to put on your slide. Now going back to the first slide, let's apply morph transition. Morph transition will help us to animate this 3D model. And make sure to apply the same settings to all slides. We can also adjust the duration before applying the settings to all slides. Now let's see our progress so far for this tutorial. As you notice, our 3D model smoothly transforms from one angle to another whenever we shift to another slide. Now let's add more slides and change the position and angle of our 3D model. We will just copy the model from the previous slide and then paste it into the next one. Using the 3D control, we can rotate and tilt the 3D model into a different look. Then just add the text to your slide. But before we proceed to the next step, 
make sure that the position of our 3D model is in front of other elements in each slide. Just right-click the 3D model, then hit the Bring to Front option. I have 4 text boxes in my third slide here, and I want to do some more transition. So I will rename each text box using the double exclamation format. I will rename my text box from text1 to text4. Let us now see the preview for this. So let's start in the slide 2 and then click the slideshow from the current slide. So we can see that the 4 text boxes just fade into the slide. Now let's try to customize the morph transition for these text boxes by simply copying these 4 text boxes to the previous slide. Now that we have this text here, we will just move them downwards. So whenever we shift from this slide to the next, the entrance for these text boxes will start from the bottom. Let's also add some inconsistent spacing between this text for the delay effect. Now let's see the preview for this morph transition for our text box. So it's perfect. The text boxes had their morph entrance from below or upward direction. Now let's add another slide here. For the next slide, we will copy the previous slide's 3D model and text boxes, and then paste them into the next slide. This time we will move the text upwards and add some inconsistent spacing between the text for the delay effect. We bring them in this direction so the exit transition of the text in the third slide will be in this direction, which is the opposite direction of what we have with the entrance. Then adjust your 3D model with the help of the 3D control and the handles. Using the 3D control is really helpful for us to customize our 3D models. Then just add your text or additional design if you wish. Now let's see our progress so far with these 4 slides. So here is the first slide, the second slide, third slide, and the fourth slide. Now let's try to add one more slide. So this will be the last slide for this tutorial. So let's click this new slide and then remove everything. And then we will copy this 3D model from the previous slide and then paste it into the next one. Since this particular 3D model we selected is an animated one, we can apply some movement to this model. Under the 3D model tab, we will click this animation icon or the scene tab. Then choose the scene you want your character to do. So I will use the scene tree where my character will start to roar. Then I will add the thank you card for this presentation. Now let's check the movement from this slide. So here is our fourth slide and then the fifth slide. As you notice, our 3D model shifted to another angle and started to do the roaring animation. So that's it for this tutorial and here is the final output for this presentation. I hope this tutorial helped you better understand the 3D model features and the application of morph transition with these elements. This particular feature will help you to level up your next presentation. Again, this is Gamo Edits and thank you for watching.